Hi, Hi guys. guys. So welcome back to How to Feed a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. The Loon. The Loon. And folks, if you're watching this for the first time and you're going through this crazy thing that we're all going through together, this thing called coronavirus, we just want to say we hope you're safe. We hope you're healthy. Hunker down. Hunker down and do what the experts are telling us. And what we're focusing on now are doing recipes that are hopefully ingredients. There's not real complicated ingredients. Right. Hopefully they're already in your pantry. If you want to make it, which we think you will, and you don't have something, see if your grocery store does delivery. A lot of them yes, do, and they do it for free. Or just put this in your library and make it when it's safe to go outside. <laughs> That's right. But whatever you do, please take it seriously because we want to keep our elderly and yes. those that are, have compromised health issues healthy. Okay. So yes, I think you all definitely. know that. And we love you and we hope everybody yes. is safe. So let's tell them what we're making. We're doing a soup today. <laughs> we are doing one of our favorite soups. We are doing our roasted, roasted tomato and basil, basil soup. soup. Soup! Roasted tomato <laughs> basil soup. Tomato basil soup. Anyway, so it's super great. And it's, it's delicious. So delicious. It's the better than any restaurant that you'll ever Simple get. Simple ingredients. Okay, so too. let's talk about first how we, this, these are roasted tomatoes right here. They, I love roasted tomatoes. These are so delicious by themselves. Roasting anything, um, it just, it, it really intensifies and, and it makes the, um, the, what's the word that I'm looking for? It really just, it, it makes Bold the- mess. It gives the, um, it, it, uh, oh, what's the word? I don't it's know. It's a word that it, it makes it really intense, intense. in flavor. Intense that's not the word. flavor. I'm losing my mind. Exuberant. Um, but it, that's it. It's like you. <laughs> so anyway, but you roast it and it really brings those, it concentrates, that's the word. There it concentrates the, the tomato flavor. And how did you do this? So what I did was I got nine Roma tomatoes and I just took a knife and I cut it right down the middle. Um, there's going to be the little part where the, where the core is. Just take your knife and just kind of cut that part out. And then put it on, I just put some foil on a baking sheet, and then I placed these on there, and then I squirted some oil on there. Probably a total of about two tablespoons mm -hmm. of olive oil. And then and you then salt and pepper it. You hit there. it with some salt and pepper, and then you stick it in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. You put a lot of salt and pepper on there, though, right? Well, a nice healthy amount. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's good. You want to salt them up. I mean, you can, you, I just do a pinch of them. Yeah. Anyway. And then it goes in the oven and they roast at 375 degrees for, for an hour. And they just come out. I just want to pop these little bad boys so, in my mouth. They right are now. a great side dish by themselves. Now, Chris, if they don't, if somebody wants to make this and they don't have, and if, like, what if they have like tomato, like a can of tomato in their. Well, we cover. also use canned tomatoes okay. in this because I like the, the because right. this is a more of an intense flavor, but it Got has it. that roasted flavor. Right. So you you could only use canned if, if you okay. want to. But if you then have it, it wouldn't be pantry. roasted. It wouldn't be roasted uh, tomato right. soup. You'd have to call it something different. Just tomato soup. Um, <laughs> oh right. You could open up a can of tomato soup. <laughs> but no. Anyway, we're we were going to make this. Sorry. Quick. Yes. So go, okay. Go, so go, now go. over here, I have a nice sized uh, Dutch oven, whatever pot you've got, um, and I've got a cup of. A, a chopped onion that I diced and then, or just chopped obviously, and then I put it in a hot pot with a couple of tablespoons of oil and got it nice and soft. Okay, so now I'm going to add four cloves of minced garlic, mm. and then I've got a tablespoon of minced or chopped thyme. Um, if you don't have fresh, you don't have access to fresh basil or I am balls yeah, of clumped. Um, yeah. There, uh, you can use dry, <laughs> just use half amount. So use like a teaspoon and a half of the dry. It smells so good though. It already I smells love the milk. onion and I love the, the sauteing garlic. It just makes the I house know. smell so good. It's so good. This soup is so, uh, and then we do it with some grilled cheese. Oh. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that later. To. I know, I know. So now <laughs> I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt and I'm just gonna add about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, just kind of mix that in. And now, like I said, I've got, this is a combination of canned crushed tomatoes. It's okay. 28 ounce can. And that's um, what you got there. And that's what I'm adding in okay. right here. Um, it's just a, the nice combination of, of this crushed, there's crushed tomatoes, they, they can them right at the peak of their freshness, so they're really good. Mm -hmm. And then this is fresh basil. Now this is, again, mm. if you can get fresh, Go with fresh for this because it really makes a big difference. But if they have dried basil, you could do it. You could do it. It's just this the, because again, it's basil soup. It requires a decent amount. So yeah, I'm actually it. doing a whole cup of chopped basil. It smells so good. It isn't smells it? amazing yeah. anyway. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let. I'm going to stir this up. I'm going to turn my heat up just a hair, and um, we're going to let this simmer just for about ten minutes to let that basil really infuse the flavor into the tomatoes, and then we're going to 
keep going. Sounds like a plan. Okay, right. so this soup is coming yes. right along. This is such an easy soup too, I love it. Okay, so now I've got two cups of good quality chicken stock. If you want to keep this uh, completely vegetarian, you can use vegetable, vegetable stock. Vegetable stock. Um, just use whatever you, you prefer. Here's some um, roasted tomatoes and, for you. Okay, thanks. And now we're <laughs> gonna put these roasted tomatoes in there. I can probably just dump, help me. I'm gonna help me loon. finger them all. Oh. But my fingers are clean. Right, that's a <laughs> lovely way of putting it. Okay, so anyway, all right. So now we've done that. Okay, beautiful. Take this. Use your fingers to take this, please. And um, we're going to hear about that one. I'm okay. sure. So, Sorry. <laughs> I try. I really try. So, okay. Um, now we're going to let this come to a simmer, and then it's going to simmer for 30 minutes and just really... Oh, infuse all those incredible flavors. And don't worry, we're gonna, it's not gonna be chunky by the time we finish this and we'll show you how. Good. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. It's God. ready. Oh, it's not, ready. No, 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 not quite, not oh. quite. So anyway, right. so, but wow, it smells so good. Yes, and, and this has does. been, we've been, other than, you know, we've roasted the tomatoes for an hour, but you can do that. You can even do that a day in advance. I'd say do it a couple hours in advance. But anyway, this came together very, very quickly. So now what we're going to do. Yeah, it came to told, a nice simmer. We told you, yeah, and it simmered for 30 minutes. And I just stirred it every little, uh, little, whip, stitch. little whip stitch. And then, um, <laughs> and then anyway, so now we are ready to do what I said before. We're going to smooth things out, okay? We're like, going to emulsify. We're going to, well, we're, this, is an, this is an emulsion mixer. Blend, blend, hand stick mixer. So you can do this. You can also do that. I used to do this in a blender. I would very carefully transfer this into a blender. You just want to puree it. Yeah. So, but these work really well if you have one of these and I just love them. Um, it, stand back. No, it works. It's fine. Yeah, I you don't might know. You want to do be, be careful because you don't want to have hot <laughs> tomato flash up in your face. That would yeah. And and what I kind of like about this is it allows it to be um, you can allow you. It kind of gives you the kind of texture that you yeah, want. Yeah, you so can make you it like, as smooth as you want it, or as, as or, or as a, yeah, you can leave it kind of chunky. <laughs> um, so let's. This is good. This is oh, fun. Now talk about wow. my croutons that I made. Oh, these are great. These are so delicious. Oh, these are. I always he always puts the really edible, delicious things in front of me, and I I have to not do it. But we actually have a blog. Um, uh, a, we have a, a blog. Post. We have a. Post on the blog on how to make these incredible croutons. Well, yeah, it's, that you can put easy. in almost it, anything. We just took a, a loaf of bread, I, I cubed it, and then I put a little garlic on it, a little salt and pepper, and some oil, and I toasted it. That's there all croutons are. It's so easy. Okay, see, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Now we're literally um, really done. So now what we have to do to really make this creamy and oh, that's so amazing. I love it. We're gonna add two thirds a cup of heavy cream. And uh, this is going to give it just a luxurious, oh. unbelievably delicious te uh, taste and a depth of flavor that just wow. is phenomenal. Now, you, guys, you don't have to, after you, um, you uh, could, after you put that cream in, do you have to, can you let it simmer it's, more? It's good or? to go right now. I mean, you're, you're fine. You don't want that cream, right. to, you know, to, to curdle or anything yeah. like that. But um, it's really good right now. You could certainly keep it warm on the stove on a very low heat, but it's ready to eat right now. Yeah, okay. put it on so over here. You do that. You've got yourself your bowl and your crouton. <laughs> yes. I've got another little surprise for you. Because if you're going to have yeah. tomato soup, you got to have grilled cheese. Yes. Right? So we got two grilled cheese sandwiches here. And um, yes, I love everybody grilled loves grilled cheese. cheese. I think you know how to make grilled cheese, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I know you do, but I think Hold on I'm, now. I'm, I'm getting look, this. I don't want to spill this all over the place. Look at the cheese, everybody. Yum. Mm. Delicious. You just used some Italian bread, didn't you? I did. You I just I up. just sliced some fresh Italian bread. I put some American cheese in there that melts wonderfully. Okay. Buttered the sides and then... And I think then, I've got that's enough here. That's amazing. Now, there sprinkle a little bit of the mm -hmm. croutons. Yes. And besides being... It's, this is one of those soups in one of those dishes that's just so homey and comforting. But look how beautiful that is. I love too. that. I Here, mean, put that over there so it's not in my okay, way. Well, <laughs> Get that out of my way. <laughs> Let me jump right on that. There is a beautiful, delicious lunch or dinner oh, or just yeah. an anytime snack. I tell you, every time you, we get you set up to eat, I'm so jealous. You I'm guys, thinking, should I dunk first? No, no I won't no, dunk no. first. Okay. Look at that. He's going in. Oh, oh. that is so great. Oh, and I got a croot. I got a croot. Oh, and look good. at the basil specks in there. Mm. This is my favorite. Mm. <laughs> I'm getting the loon jig. It is so good. Oh, my. 
Does that make your heart? If sing? it was snowing outside right now, it would be like. Ah, I know, uh, but this is good year round. That the flavor of the tomato and the roasted tomato is. What's the more, it's con the concentrated <laughs> the flavor concentrate. of it. I had to concentrate. It's exuding really. all this wonderful <laughs> tomato flavor, and, and that basil is has a hint of freshness to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I love it, and it's 100% Luna approved. Yes. <laughs> all right, start dunking. Yeah, right, I'm gonna I dunk. Okay, we're double Here, dipping, you, which you know you got we're, your we're own family. Spoon, I've got my own spoon, and we're family, and yes. we're healthy. So, ooh, <laughs> I almost didn't make it to your oh mouth. Oh my gosh, isn't that, that great? Is so you guys, you know, look at my dunk. Look at my dunk. We dunk, need to dunk, somehow dunk. or another support our local businesses, <laughs> and <laughs> if you can do takeout, and we're doing takeout, that's mm -hmm. great. But I'm telling Delivery. you, if you make this at home, mm. you're gonna be so mm. happy. Let me do a little dunk here. Wow, I just was like went right back down to second grade mm. in a can of tomato soup and a grilled cheese sandwich. But mm -hmm. this is like <laughs> clear up there. <laughs> but yours was good too, Mom. Oh, and you can get this recipe <laughs> and many more on how to feed a loon duck. I guess that's a good sign. He's 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 lost on the food. <laughs> and go to our social media and like us and share us. And please. Take care of yourselves, be yeah. healthy, be safe, listen to what the experts are telling us because it's important and yeah. we love you we so love much. You. All right. Bye. Bye, everybody. Stay healthy. Yay. Hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> now, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right. And to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, <laughs> click, click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>